that little farmstead there. It is uh, going to be safe as far as I can tell from the tornado. It will probably get some gusty winds and some hail, but probably not worse than they've experienced in the past. Uh, and that's certainly a, a good thing. This, as you say, is exactly what Vortex 2 wants. Uh, uh, measure tornadoes without them being destructive tornadoes. Uh, I'm starting to get a little bit worried now, Dr. Forbes, that we may end up being a little bit too close to this right now. And lightning is getting much closer to us to the north side of this storm. This is obviously extraordinarily impressive right now. You're looking at a live tornado, folks. If you're just now joining us, you're looking at a live tornado in Goshen County, Wyoming. It is headed southeast at about 25 miles per hour. We are live with Vortex 2, large research program, the largest research project in history, and they are sampling this tornado as we speak. This tornado has been on the ground for maybe roughly 25 minutes or so. At one point, a very large wedge tornado, but now Dr. Forbes taking more of a rope shape and right in the middle of that it's wider than it is uh, toward the ground and toward the top of it. Yeah, I was going to point that out. Uh, Dr. Bluestein is going to be very interesting right in there. Uh, it for a moment had a double ring structure like sometimes we see in water spots with now that outer ring uh, has dissipated a little bit, but now becoming more again like an elephant's trunk. Uh, this often is signifies that it's getting a little bit toward the end of the life cycle. Uh, the, the rain cooled air has wrapped all the way around it. So we may over the next few minutes see this begin to get more and more contorted. But uh, I, I'm surprised that it didn't do that a little bit uh, earlier. And so this uh, storm has, a, has a, a fair amount, this tornado, I should say, has a fair amount of resiliency to it against the, uh, the rain that has been very close to it. I look at the entire structure that surrounds this tornado, Dr. Forbes. I see huge updrafts, I see huge downdrafts, and a massive spiraling around the vortex itself. Can you kind of explain to our viewers the entire structure of what we're seeing here? Yeah, the, uh, this big ring that you see coming around here and then it goes in behind, that is some of the rear flank downdraft. The rain-cooled air has wrapped now all the way around and then goes uh, back in behind again. Uh, the tornado, uh, it has managed to do that and without killing the tornado, it has caused it to change its shape a little bit. It's gotten from a big wedge uh, to a, a little bit more of an elephant's trunk shape here, back more like now what we saw when it was a little bit weaker when we first uh, came on air. But uh, that may be as a result of having a little bit cooler, heavier, denser air that the, that the tornado now has to be pulling up because tornadoes have updraft as well as rotating uh, counterclockwise. And so we may be seeing a gradual weakening as a result of some cooler, heavier air being wrapped all the way around the tornado. Sometimes what will happen then, Mike, will be a family of tornadoes will form. Uh, so I, periodically somebody there keep looking up almost vertically uh, because I believe that that leading edge of that rain wrapped air is getting out pretty close to you. Sometimes a new circulation will begin to form uh, out in there. Uh, this, yeah, that one little tail that was just showing up there uh, would be kind of an area. Yeah, that one. Uh, sometimes tornadoes could form here or perhaps there. We're trying to get another little low hanging region. Obviously, Dr. Forbes, this is ideal for Vortex 2. It has been four weeks in the making. They have been snake bitten by the atmosphere. But now today, with what appeared to be a fairly significant risk for Vortex 2, the biggest risk they've had so far, they have now got a classic supercell and tornado to sample. Tornado warning right now in Goshen County, Wyoming, a fairly unpopulated area. And you can see just a beautiful tornado as it moves its way. It almost looks now, Dr. Forbes, like it's moving almost due south. It looks like it's turned some. Yeah. It was coming toward us, and I guess the entire storm itself, but maybe the funnel that's touching the ground may be uh, moving leftward on your screen here. Yes, it certainly is, because just a few minutes ago, probably literally two minutes ago, it was well to the right from our view of that uh, farmstead, and now it is well to the left. So I think perhaps some of that rain-cooled air has wrapped around and is pushing it back south instead of east. You're exactly right. Dr. Forbes, when I look at this, it looks like it's now tilting. The top portion of the tornado looks to be tilted toward us, toward you. which would be east-southeast. And then the funnel itself is then back toward the west or the northwest. So what is, is this, does this indicate anything, the tilting of the tornado? Yeah, it sure does. That, that's part of the overall evolution. That rain-cooled air that I've talked about has gotten in front of the tornado, and the tornado is resisting moving into that because that air is heavier and denser, and the tornado is making a turn. 
uh, part of the, the, the things that Dr. Fujita and I studied in the super outbreak back in 1974 was exactly this, how tornadoes would make turns in uh, part of their life cycle. And we hypothesized at that point that it was in relation to rain cooled air that was pushing it. In this case, it seems to be pushing it back a little bit to the south and west. Uh, and so this tornado may now, oh. Dr. Forbes, you can now down toward the bottom of the down toward the ground. Now, Dr. Forbes, you can now start to see it's hard to tell if there's any debris within that or not, but you can now get a really good visual, the funnel and the ground, although it turns looks to me like it's getting very skinny and maybe more of a rope like shape right toward the ground here. But you can definitely see the interaction with the funnel itself and the ground. Yeah, it's definitely gotten uh, uh, very much rope shaped. And uh, there's, there's no doubt that there is uh, potentially d damaging to destructive winds at the ground, and we're just hoping that there's nothing in its path to, uh, to destroy. It certainly, even at this stage, even as it ropes out like this, can be a dangerous tornado. It's certainly wider aloft than it is at the ground, but very interesting. We've watched the whole evolution, Mike, from a funnel cloud uh, to a narrow tornado to a wedge tornado. Look at that. You can see almost Dr. The Forbes, you can look right inside the tornado. That is unbelievable. Look at that. You can look right into the top of it. That is awesome, Mike, and you can see there the counterclockwise rotation. It has little rings. It's like smoke rings that are rising in the tornado itself. Uh, with that outer ring structure and then the it almost the looks Dr. Forbes like an outer funnel and an inner funnel. What exactly is going on here? That is beautiful. Yeah, the, the lowest pressure is right at the center. That's where we're seeing that uh, funnel. Then we're seeing little rings of debris out near the edge where the the updraft uh, is still the strongest. And uh, we're getting almost like a, a double structure that we sometimes see in water spots. And, and this is kind of roping out as a, as a almost a water spot appearance at this point. Uh, the water spots do that as, as rain pushes them a little bit off the uh, vertical, makes them tilt, as you've been pointing out. But definitely, look at the rotation there, counterclockwise rotation in the sky re revolving about this tornado. Dr. Forbes, I look at the top of the tornado here. I see horizontal spin, okay? So we're looking, you know, spin that's parallel to the ground, but then I see also spin that is more like a corkscrew that's vertical as well. So we've got multiple spins in multiple directions here. This is really amazing to have this kind of vantage point this close. Yeah, it has, of course. Part of the reason for that corkscrew is that the tornado, as you say, the upper portion is leaning so far forward toward you that uh, from your perspective, it seems like there's some up and down motion uh, within that. It, it's all sort of rotating, revolving right about the tornado, but it's almost gotten itself a horizontal because the funnel itself now is being here. It's almost horizontal in this area. Here it's still vertical. Here it's almost turned horizontal. So it's, it's spinning almost up and down at this point. It's, it's amazing. This is, again, live tornado that you're viewing here in Goshen County, Wyoming. Vortex 2 has been deployed on this storm for about 45 minutes now, sampling the data with this. We also have a tornado warning for Laramie County. It looks like the funnel itself likely to go east of the city of Cheyenne itself. But tornado warnings for Goshen County and for Laramie County. Obviously, we've got the visual on the tornado right now. We've been watching this evolve from a wedge-shaped structure to more of a rope-like structure as it goes more horizontal and tilts. When this initially formed, this is a large, almost perfectly vertical, wedge-shaped tornado. Multiple funnels began to drop, and then came the large wedge tornado. But now you can see we've got more of a rope-like structure. Dr. Forrest has been analyzing this, and you can still see down toward the ground we've still got the interaction with the ground so we've still got a funnel on the ground although I'm suspecting suspecting at some point here that is going to lift Dr. Forbes it looks like it's significantly weaker than it once was it, it is indeed much weaker Mike but I, I do believe you there just as we panned uh, in that I saw, saw a little bit of a dust cloud still at the ground there so this is still capable of damage it's also as we've been talking about uh, still uh, I think there's still a little bit of dust being kicked up by this at the ground, so it's not done having winds at the surface. And off to the right and a little bit closer to you, uh, there could be a new tornado that would develop. Absolutely amazing. And now it's kinking. Uh, and basically, there it goes, Dr. Forbes. It looks like it has completely dissipated. Wow, that was truly amazing. You've just witnessed the complete evolution and dissipation of a tornado. And now it looks like the center of the thunderstorm that created uh, that tornado is now about to pass directly over top of us. A vortex to Dr. F actually, hold on a second.
It looks like I'm wondering now if we've got something still trying to hold on here, Dr. Forbes. Richard, can you see? It looks like a little dust cloud here. Dr. Forbes, yeah. this looks far removed, though, Dr. Forbes. From